This is Dr. B, and this video will write the formula for the ternary ionic compound calcium hydroxide. We'll follow these steps to write the correct formula. First, we write the element symbol and the charge for the metal using the periodic table. For the calcium, that would be Ca, and the charge would be plus 2. That's because it's in group 2 on the periodic table. Next, we need to write the formula for the polyatomic ion, the hydroxide. Hydroxide is one you need to remember. It's not on the periodic table. We need to look that up on the common ion table. So for hydroxide, that's OH, and the charge is minus 1. We now have the skeleton formula for the calcium hydroxide. For these ionic compounds, we must balance the charges on the ions, so we end up with this net charge of 0. So I'm going to use the crisscross method, and then we'll check our work. I'll take the 1 here and move it down below the calcium, and the two, I'll move over to the hydroxide. Since I have the polyatomic ion here, the two, that two applies to everything, I do need to put parentheses around the OH. So at this point, I can get rid of the charges in front of the numbers, and that should give us the correct formula for calcium hydroxide. So let's check and make sure that we have the correct formula. We remember that calcium had a plus two charge, and the hydroxide had a minus one. So I need to make sure that the charges balance out. 2 times minus 1, that gives me a minus 2. 1 times plus 2, that's plus 2. So plus 2 and minus 2, they do cancel out, and I have a net charge of 0. So I'll clean this up, and I'll also get rid of this 1 right here. We don't need that. That's implied. And we now have the correct formula for calcium hydroxide. For tons more practice naming and writing formulas, visit the Naminator website and subscribe to my channel. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.